Concordia students have already failed their parents. <laughs> expected a lot of me academically, okay? And I always think if I was a white man, I would have had the privilege to settle for Concordia. <laughs> <laughs> My Carrozza is such a bad student, the only A he's ever gotten is hepatitis. <laughs> with sex to get better grades, okay? But at Concordia, students get better marks by threatening their profs with sex. <laughs> Other universities routinely face sexual assault scandals, but Concordia has been a leader in preventing this by only admitting students as ugly as Mike Carrozza. <laughs> student debt is his weight. <laughs> <laughs> A bomb threat was called into Concordia this year, but turns out the bomb threat was just Mike Croza's stand-up. <laughs> bomb threat was a terrorist attack because blowing up Concordia would be a public service. <laughs> Concordia has a widely successful student suicide prevention initiative called the Buddy Program. Mike Carrozza is here today because of this program, even though it's pretty obvious to the rest of us that he should kill himself. <laughs> diversity, okay? That's why Concordia insists that all of their students have at least one learning disability. <laughs> Mike Carrozza has a theater degree from Concordia. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. <laughs> In his department, they called him a triple threat because of his three chromosomes. <laughs> now listen, Concordia students here, I get it, but don't lose hope, okay? I know it's hard. Having a Concordia degree can be difficult to find a job, but it's not as difficult as finding Mike's dick. <laughs> Because...